hey battle babes welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm andrea and this is going to be another pcs vlog <laughs> um yeah so this is going to be another pcs vlog guys please excuse my voice in this freaking vlog because i lost my voice i lost my voice have no clue where it is no clue when it's coming back hold on I'm still in the process of moving. It's super, super, super frustrating. I actually had to move my move out date back to the 12th. So technically I was supposed to have been out of here by the 5th is now the 7th. I haven't been able to move my stuff. I, I've been moving my stuff either by myself or with the help of one of my friends. God dang my voice. How is there still ice in here? I put ice in here last night and somehow there's still ice in here. That's crazy. I just realized that. So I still been moving my stuff. I have been moving everything downstairs into the garage, kind of like I mentioned before. And so far, so good. Um, but I'm going to be completely honest. I threw most of my stuff away. I am literally going to be going to Texas with practically nothing. When the pre-movers, they, they came and did their pre-move inspection. And when I showed them everything that I had to have moved, they're like, you don't have anything to move. It's some things, but it's, it literally can fit in one truck. Everything can fit in one small truck. I'm about to put one more load into the washer and dryer. Wash that. Try to drain the washer because I'm pretty sure they said I have to drain it before I move it or something like that. But the thing is, I finally have my storage unit. I finally have my storage unit. Originally, I did everything online. When I went to see the storage, it was way too small. There was no way, I don't even know. I looked at the size of the unit and then I went on YouTube to try to get an idea of how big it was and it was no. I think originally I had like a five by 7.5 or something like that. It was a little small closet, basically. Nothing was gonna fit in there. So, um, the lady told me that I would have to wait a few days for something to come available because all they had was the really, really big ones and I didn't need that. So, I waited. Now I have a storage unit. Now I'm about to start moving my stuff. And I wasn't able to get a truck until today because again, they had all of the big things available, but none of the small stuff. And now that they have something small available, that's what I'm going to get. But I can't pick it up until noon. So the things that I'm able to move in my car, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to move some of my stuff in my car. Just to explain the situation with my hair. Originally, it was supposed to have been a twist out. So you do the twist, you let them sit for like me. Usually it's like a day or so, and then you take them down and then you have a nice curly afro. But when I twist them up and then I went to take them down, I realized that I made them kind of small. So it's gonna be an actual afro, not something that hangs down. And I just decided to honestly leave it up because it was so many i didn't feel like taking them down in the first place so this is my hairstyle from now and so i feel like taking this down and i didn't put on anything crazy i honestly got in a shower and stuff only because it was super humid last night and i was feeling super sticky this morning so i needed to wash my body but i just threw on my demon slayer shirt with some sweats and then my go-to shoes i love these so much and did i get these from walmart because Mia got a matching pair. I think I got these from Walmart. But I didn't put on anything too crazy. So go and do this. Where's my phone? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So. Oh. Let me do this. I almost forgot. I gotta put a load in. Let me do this real quick.
it is like literally an hour or something like that later i'm finally in a garage i was just on the phone talking with navy federal because y'all it's always something i ended up trading in my old hyundai sonata for the new car that i have now and they were basically saying that they needed the title for the old car in order to sell it and i'm like i don't have the title to the old car navy federal was telling them that i had it why would i have the title to the car if one i didn't hey i didn't finish paying off the car that didn't make sense but i got it all figured out but anyway i'm in the garage right now so remember all of my stuff this is what i am reduced to mine is the bed so i am taking my bed frame that's upstairs and then the washing machine and dryer so basically this is pretty much all of my stuff that i just bought down well just finished bringing down i'm no longer taking this couch originally i was going to take the couch with me i'm no longer taking that so i'm actually going to be pulling that out to the curb today uh i'm thinking i'm gonna also take this mirror do i want to keep this mirror I might keep this mirror yeah for now i'm going to keep it and then i'm going to just sit her old toys here her bike and her scooter out by the curb to see if someone wants to grab it because she don't need it anymore so yeah this is what he meant when he said i don't have anything to move but i don't think okay so here's the issue the issue is because i don't think i ever really got into the issue um i have to be out of here by the 12th which is in a week is it a week what's today is it thursday yeah so about it less than a week i have to be out of here less than a week um technically i was supposed to have been out of here by the first and then they had to push it back and then i was going to be out of here by the fifth but i still had my stuff in here obviously because i didn't have any way of moving anything and i didn't have storage to put it so i ended up having to push it back to the 12th technically my report date is the 22nd of july but they want us there by the 17th of July. The army is not able to pack my stuff up until the 20th of July. So that means I have to store my stuff myself, which was an out-of-pocket expense um, because I wasn't authorized storage since I'm not going overseas. Then I had to hurry up and move all this stuff, clean the, clean the apartments, and just do everything. And the issue that I was having is I wasn't able to find storage and I wasn't able to find a reasonably priced um, truck to move my stuff. And on top of that, I can't drive anything that's super big like that anyway. And so, yeah, I was pretty much stuck. That's literally what it came down to. I was pretty much stuck because it's PCS season. It's so many people PCSing right now. So everybody has a storage unit. Oh, my hair's tangled. Jeez. Okay, I need to go and retwist my hair. But, um, no, okay get out of here so yeah now that i finally have my storage and i finally have a truck i'm about to try my hardest to move as much of this stuff as i can the way i usually do it or the way i've done it in the past is i would be able to do what i need to do start clearing posts schedule for my household goods and once they come and move my stuff that's when i go into cleaning my apartment doing what i have to do there it's super simple like it's so simple but when you have to move everything by yourself and clean everything by yourself do all the heavy lifting and stuff like that it makes things that much more difficult and it makes things go a lot longer and that is just so frustrating to me because that's pretty much what this ended up turning into. So, um, yeah. Am I taking that freaking microwave? I should, I'm gonna take it. I should take it. So, yeah, now I'm about to go and finally get my hash browns and see exactly how to let these, um, what is it? What is it, what is it, what is it? Let the, um, seats thing let the seats down in the back of my car so i can start fitting some stuff in there i gotta tell you something i could do i could be running or i'm chasing you but i won't because i got better better things to do I spent my precious time 
Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight No, you didn't know me All you wanted was a game to play Beginning, I just didn't know that you're an enemy. I held too close. Now I know, 'cause you did everything to prove me wrong. You were not the guy I thought. Now I'm beating you at your own. Yeah. If I got a dollar for every time you slammed the door, I would be the richest girl alive, alive. You wanted was a game to play guys what's up it is the next day and I'm not sitting on a bed I'm sitting on the floor on my little pallet but um why are you here hey sorry if you hear this noise in the back hold on I'm washing literally washing a few more things before I officially start moving the washer and dryer out so I can go ahead and take that over to the storage but yesterday was actually kind of successful it was really successful I got a majority and I'm talking a majority of the stuff out to the storage unit all I have here is some clothes in this bucket these pile clothes here the clothes that I'm washing and then my TV and like some shoes and stuff like that because Pretty much a majority of the stuff that is still here, I'm putting in the car and I'm gonna drive it to Texas with me because I'm gonna need access to it. So yeah, I'm pretty much done here. And I still have about, what, five days left. So I'm doing pretty good. I still have to take my decorations off the wall though. I don't have much to do today. Like, if I can finish this early enough, well, I have to finish early because I have to have the U-Haul back by 12, 12 something i have to have it back by 12 something um but yeah i don't have anything else to do today i don't have a house yet in texas either i don't have an apartment i don't have anywhere to stay so it's either i'm gonna be hotel hopping or i'm gonna be staying in my damn car i think what i'm gonna do later on as well is start looking at apartments i didn't want to be applying for apartments before seeing them because ultimately if it's something that i didn't want to be in anyway that's going to be a waste of money because you know the application fees they're like $99 here then you have all the administrative administrative fees that they want you to pay it's just nonsense so I didn't want to be paying 
to apply for apartments based off pictures because we all know they put the best pictures of the best apartment online or whatever so i guess i'm just gonna have to deal with that and i'm gonna apply for a few probably later today or tomorrow that way i at least have something in or have an idea of where i'm getting approved at i shouldn't have any issues with getting approved um last time for whatever reason i was just having a hard time finding a place that i like because everything was really 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 freaking expensive and honestly i think that's because i was looking for comfortable living conditions for the kids and stuff like that but now since it's just me i really don't care i really do not care i'm only going to be there for about eight months anyway so what i think i want to do what do i want to do i'm telling you i want to live in the cheapest apartment i possibly can i don't care if i'm in the slums i don't care if i'm in the hood i'm trying to pocket that bah that's what i'm trying to do it is what it is but what i'm about to do now though i have to shoot a quick reel um so i can put it on instagram if you aren't following me on instagram already you really should be following me on instagram already um i love i love i love i love my male battle babes here but for my females for my women if you all can please go and follow my instagram if if i'm not your taste i get it but i genuinely be looking through my analytics on Instagram and I want more female followers. A majority of my followers are male, which I understand, but, but I want more female followers. So if y'all can just go ahead and go over to Instagram and follow me, that would be nice. But anyway, so I'm about to go ahead and probably go and get my hash browns not even probably i'm about to go and get my hash browns from mcdonald's like i always do wait for these things in the washer to stop so i can put them in the dryer and start moving the washer while that stuff dries so just finished my reel by the time you see this you probably would have already saw the reel if you follow me but why are the lights blinking um my little load just stopped, so I'm done with this. And now, I'm gonna dry it and figure out how to move this freaking washer. And try not to hurt myself in the process. <sighs> my back already hurts. figured out how to work this thing and I figured out how to get the washer onto the dolly y'all so I had to put these pieces of tape oh shit I had to put these pieces of tape right here in front of the freaking washer to hold the lid down because when I first leaned it back to move it the lid I guess I guess it didn't automatically lock hold on you're all coming down to the state I guess it didn't automatically lock when I had unplugged it. And so when I leaned it back, the lid came back and hit me so fucking hard in the lip. It hit me so hard in the lip. And I don't even think y'all can see that. I'm surprised. I have like a blister thing right here that's growing. Oh my God. Like it doesn't hurt now, but it was hurting for a good like two minutes afterwards. You see that? almost bust my whole face open oh my gosh it hit me so hard i thought i knocked my teeth out i don't even lie so with that being said um i'm about to put my shorts back on really quick because i don't want to get these sweatpants really sweaty because that's actually what i'm going to be wearing today so i'm just about to change real quick and then um 
start moving the washer downstairs. get it on you <laughs> Ugh, fuck, I can't pull it up there fuck, 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 fuck. I was not ex like I know it's heavy but I wasn't expecting it to be that heavy that was heavy it was literally dragging me down the stairs good thing I got these thighs lower body what I'm gonna leave it like that until I get to the storage that way I don't have to lay it back down to pull it back off because I have an idea in my head on what's gonna be the easiest way to get it down I wonder how much time I have left so I'm about to go upstairs now try to get the dryer I don't know how well these things are gonna be working when I get to my next destination but we'll see <laughs> So how is it that it took me probably 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes to um, move the washer downstairs, right? It took me literally five minutes to get the dryer and take it downstairs and I'm not making this shit up right now. I'm just washing my face a little bit cause I'm super sweaty. Um, I'm about to run this stuff over to the store unit. because I have to have this truck dropped off in literally like 45 minutes and I still have to go put some gas and stuff in it, probably sweep it out a little bit. So I don't know if I'm gonna make time, but I'm damn sure gonna try. Whoever told me 
because I had a few of you guys telling me that the dryer is heavier than the washer. Fuck you. Because that could have been a nice trial and error figuring out how to get that shape downstairs with the dryer, which was easier, and then apply what I learned to taking the dryer down with the washer. But no, I had to do it backwards, so thanks. And also, when I was lifting the freaking washer, I scratched up my back. So I have this giant scratch here, and all these scratches right here from when it almost fell. Jeez. Ugh. Whatever. But um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get my shit so I can go. Let me turn off my speaker. I will see you guys when I'm done with this foolishness. Hey guys, what's up? It is the next day. I moved the washer and dryer and all that stuff yesterday, turned in a truck and stuff like that yesterday. I know I keep jumping around in this vlog, but y'all, when I say I start something and I get super busy and I kind of forget that I was even vlogging in the first place, that's why I've been jumping around a lot. But it is 15, 16 on a Saturday, okay? So I ended up going out. I was drinking a little bit, you know, just having a little bit of fun. I went and I watched some anime and I'm actually going to be going back to one of my friends to finish watching anime. That's if I can't download. Stop it. That's if I can't download Crunchyroll on my tv i didn't even check but i have to see if i can download new apps on my tv because if i can download crunchyroll then we're all just gonna come here i'm watching yo yo haka show and akame got kill right now i'm trying my hardest to get through akame got kill i actually ended up starting over because it had been so long not so long it's been like a month or so since i actually picked up on the show and i just wanted to rewatch some of the episodes that way i kind of wasn't so lost i think after died i was just like my heart i can't take it so i was just like yeah let me go ahead and take a break first of all with these anime writers who hurt y'all who hurt y'all there's no reason Ugh. Ugh. anyway that, it's so traumatizing but yeah i'm gonna be doing that tonight y'all i'm still on the floor my friend ended up giving me this little cushion thing that you lay on a bed but um yeah i have that so i'll probably be using that when i get to whatever apartment i end up in as well because i'm really not in a rush to get any new furniture but yeah i'm in a comfortable position or whatever still got that stuff up that i have to take down and y'all when i say i have so many bumps and bruises like i don't know i don't even know if you can see that but hold on so i don't know if you can see that but i got scratched up here i have a bruise here I have a bruise all around my knee. Where else? There was another one right here, right there. I have a giant bruise right here. I have one down here. I was tearing my shins up. One right there. And then there was another one somewhere. I think they're my arms. But yeah, I was tearing myself up. I just finished eating some cereal. I'm just sitting here watching TV. It's paused right now, but I'm watching American Zip. Not American Dad. Why do I always say that? I'm watching Family Guy. I always say American Dad, but I'm watching Family Guy right now. And I'm about to go ahead and retwist my hair. I'm not going to take it down completely. I'm just going to go twist by twist. And I'm going to retwist my hair before. Hopefully, I can get done before I leave. Because, like I said, at first it was a mistake that I even put this up. But now I'm kind of liking the convenience of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and retwist it. So. Yeah, but I think that's it for this vlog though. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure you guys leave those down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you found this entertaining or if you like my channel, or if you just wanna support me, please go ahead and like and subscribe. That's the important thing, subscribe. My goal is to hit 10,000 by the end of the year, and I feel like it's possible. We can at least get close, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed, or you were subscribed before just go ahead and take a look in the corner just double check if you're subscribed because for whatever reason youtube is unsubscribing people from people's um channels for whatever reason i don't understand it but yeah just go ahead and double check and if you're not subscribed 
subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye